I want you to follow me step by step in this video. You may have a previous ad account on Facebook and you might not still be able to reach ads manager. You may have advertised in the past, doesn't matter. If you're gonna start advertising now, start afresh. I have created a new account on Facebook just for advertising. I recommend you to do the same. I want you to create a fresh new Facebook account and then I want you to copy me step by step in this video. Pause this video wherever required, but copy me step by step. Otherwise, you might have lots of questions. So please stick by the flow and pause this video wherever required. Let's get started. So I am now on my Facebook account and you can see Karan Shah Dummy. I'm gonna click on my pages and I'm gonna go to my page, which is IID Dummy Dummy. And now I'm gonna go down further and you can see Ad Center. I'm gonna click on the small arrow at the Ad Center. And now I'm gonna click on something known as all ads. And now here is where we can finally go to where we want it, which is ads manager. So I have opened ads manager and dun -dun -dun, no, 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 no. I am at the ads manager. Okay, but I still don't want you to start because we're still just in our ad account. And you can see our ad account is disabled. We will enable it in some time. And if I click on top out here, you can see my name, Karan Shah Dummy, but you can see this is just an ad account, okay? And Facebook gives everybody an ad account in the start when you start advertising. You see, this is just an ad account, but I want you to create a business account, okay? So to do that, you click on these nine dots out here, and then you click on something known as business settings. So I'm gonna click on business settings right now. And once I click on business settings, if you've already previously ever made a business account, your business account will look something like this. But if this is the first time you're creating a business account, after clicking this button, business settings, you're gonna straight go to a page which looks like this, which says business manager, manage ad accounts. Otherwise, you can also look at this URL, which says business.facebook.com slash overview. This is where you set up your business account, okay? Now, click on create an account to create a business manager. You can name this anything you like. So I'm gonna name this IID dummy, your name dummy, and then you give an email ID that you want. And now you can click on submit and then you can go to your email ID and verify this. Once you verify this, you will finally open up to a page which looks like this. Now, once you're on this page, you can see on the left hand side, it says users. So you can add multiple people in this business account. You can add partners. Now you can add multiple different accounts, multiple different ad accounts within this business manager. You can add multiple different Instagram accounts of different different Instagram business accounts that you manage. If you have multiple WhatsApp accounts, you can also put that. You can also add something called as data sources and pixels, which will come in the future videos in this course, but not now, okay? And now you can see that I'm gonna try adding some people to this business account, but when I'm trying to click on add, it says access restricted. Many of y'all might face this problem. So what you do is you click on see details, you get to your account settings and many of y'all might be stuck out here and it might say account restricted. Don't worry at all. Now you go ahead and you click on continue your request. Okay, so you go ahead and make a request to them. So now that they're asking you to upload your ID, so what I want you to do is you need to upload an ID, but remember upload a JPEG, not a PDF. So you can see when I'm trying to upload out here, all my PDFs are not accepted, but only JPGs are accepted. That's a funny photo of me. But what I want you to do is upload your passport, your driving license, upload something out here. And within 24 to 48 hours, you will have full access to your business manager and you will be able to add people, you will be able to add pages and add ad accounts and you will be able to do all these things within 48 hours. And once that happens, you will finally reach your business manager. Now, I already have a business manager at IID, so now I'm gonna move away from all these dummy pages and actually gonna take you to the real IID business manager. Let's go to my dashboard. So now I am on my actual real IID business manager dashboard. You can see the same things, people, but now you can see I can click on the button add and I can add anybody I want. So if I wanna add more people to this, I can just add any other email ID which is associated to someone's Facebook account and I can add that out here. If I wanna give them admin access, employee access, anything like that, I can absolutely do that. 
Remember, if you do not have two-factor authentication is not set up, that person cannot advertise on your behalf. So you need to have two-factor authentication set up. If you want to add people, you can do it from here. If you want to add some more business partners, like I have a few other business partners, you can also add a few business partners from your system users this is not for you. Go further and now you can add some ad accounts under this. So if you want to add some pages, if you own any more pages, you can add a page. If you're adding a page, remember you need to own the page. But if you're adding one of your clients page, you will need to request access to that page and you will need to put the URL out here of that Facebook page. Then they will get an access request and if they accept it, you will see that that entire page is also out here. Now you can also add few other ad accounts of all your other clients. So if your clients have existing ad accounts, again, you can click on add and you can click on request an ad account and whatever is their ad account ID, which they will give to you, you copy it, you paste it here, you confirm, they'll get a request access. If they accept it, you will also get their ad account out here. You want to add some other Instagram accounts also. So if you manage multiple Instagram accounts, you can click on add and you can connect your Instagram account out here and you can see I already have a few Instagram accounts out here. If you also want to add some WhatsApp accounts, you can also add some WhatsApp accounts from here and then you'll go under verification. By the way, one more point out here is under ad account, you can also create a new ad account. If you are just starting out fresh, you can create a new ad account and you can call this my first ad account. And this is where you set up the currency for your ad account. So under your business manager in this ad account, you set up the currency. Remember, it's very important to set up the right currency because once this is set up, you can never go back and change the currency ever again. So set the right currency in the first shot. You can create a new ad account out here like this. Also, some other information is you can also go to payments and under payments, you can go and you can click on add. I already have one of my cards out here, but you can go and you can add an entire new payment method out here. So you have your billing country, your currency, and you can either add a credit card or a debit card easily, and that can get verified in some time. Apart from that, you can also go and click on business info. And now in this business info, you can see all your details, your name, your address, your phone number, your website, your tax ID, and your business verification status. Is it verified, not verified? This is very important if you ever want to do an ad for WhatsApp, where you get someone to click and get them to WhatsApp. So you can click on view details and you can just verify this very easy again. If you want to switch on your two-factor authentication, you can switch it on from here. And the last thing under business info is ad accounts. You can see that I have an ad account of five. You might only have an ad account creation of one. This is because you're just starting out advertising on Facebook. So the more you start spending money on Facebook, the more ad accounts you can add. Facebook likes people who spend more money on it. So lots of agencies which are large spenders have up to 200 ad accounts that they can have. Now with this entire thing, you have finally managed to set up your business manager and you've also managed to set up your ads account.